Hi everyone, we're at the Paris Air Show 2023 with General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems. I am with Rolf Zisling to learn the latest with the EMOLS and AAG programs. Rolf, good morning, great to see you again. Yeah, it's great to, to see you, Javier. Uh, how's your show been so far? It's been, uh, it's been pretty busy. So, we're standing in front of that nice uh, display, but before we get to the PANG program, uh, what's the latest with the uh, EMOLS program uh, in the US? Yeah, sure. I think when we uh, spoke last, it was in October, and the, the uh, Ford carrier was off the coast of France in uh, what they called a employment, uh, a pre-deployment activity. Uh, it's exciting to know now that the, the ship passed its certification is uh, fully deployed, and it's, uh, I believe, sailing in the Mediterranean now. So uh, that's a great milestone uh, to see the ship on its first deployment. Um, back in the shipyard in the States, uh, we're proceeding to uh, light off the systems on 79. Uh, so the EMOLS and AAG system certification is, is well underway. And uh, the production hardware for uh, the Enterprise, uh, we're about 90% complete. So we're making good progress uh, with the production activities. Uh, you may have also seen the news that uh, we were awarded the contract for CVN81, Doris Miller. That's the production contract. And uh, that contract actually has a contract line item uh, to allow for advanced procurement of long lead material forgings for the PANG program. So very exciting. So does that mean that uh, you're getting ready to enter production soon on the French EMOLs? Yeah, so we're not in production yet on French EMOLs, but this allows us uh, to move quickly into production. Uh, we know that uh, schedule is very important uh, with, with the PANG program, and so uh, we're just uh, looking ahead and making sure that we're doing everything we can to ensure that we can uh, get into production quickly when the French government decides to uh, authorize production. Uh, Rolf, uh, we broke the story last month that uh, the UK uh, Royal Navy is looking at uh, again at EMOLs uh, to fit them on their uh, Queen Elizabeth class uh, carriers. Can you share anything with us on that uh, topic? Yeah, Javier, uh, we've heard the same thing. Of course, we have a history uh, working with the UK on this project. Uh, that is, of course, a decision for the UK government to make. Um, but we are uh, fully ready to support that decision and uh, uh, we're capable of uh, incorporating uh, launch and recovery equipment into those ships if that is the decision. One last question, Rolf. What's the latest milestone for the number of uh, launches and recoveries aboard Ford? Javier, I think the count is about 15,000 launch and arrestments. Uh, and I just want to note that that is a significant milestone to achieve uh, that number of launch and arrestments. It's equivalent to two or three deployments. Uh, equivalents worth of launch and arrestments and just also note that this is the ship's first deployment and this really has been a journey to get us to this point uh, a lot of uh, persistence and teamwork uh, I'd like to extend my appreciation to the GA team and also our, our suppliers that support the effort uh, as well as our key customer stakeholders um, that, that has got us to this point very important milestone to see that ship on deployment <clears throat> thanks thank you Earl. okay thank you <laughs>